Hey guys, it's Dane Singh YT here and welcome back to part 36 of Let's Play The Sims 2 Newson Family. Very excited to get into this part. We're going to play in Gavin and Ariana's household. In the previous part that we played in this family, they had just moved into a new house, which is so, so exciting. And I love this for them. It's the Visionary Villa. So I'm very excited to get them settled in and start enjoying their life. They've obviously got a little daughter here. Her name is Dana. Um, we've obviously got a little cat Heidi to play with as well. So we might, I think they're keen to expand their family and have another child, but I think they're also very excited to get settled into this house and just sort of, they're happy to wait until they're settled in kind of thing, which is exciting. All right, let's jump in now and get started. All right, so here we are. We did use quite a lot of their money to sort of initially purchase this house, which is fair enough. But I'm pretty sure from memory, didn't we take quite a lot of um, stuff with us. Like, is there a lot of stuff in our inventories? Yeah, I was gonna say, I do remember, um, I do remember vaguely doing all of this stuff. So let's get started and start furnishing our home. So let's have a bit of a tour if you haven't seen it already. I think I did show it in the last part that we played, but obviously that was a while ago. So it's quite a decent sized house. We've got a really nice uh, kitchen. That's the word I was looking for over here. And then we've got like a interesting, like it's, there's a lot of, it's, it's kind of confusing if I'm being completely honest, uh, but we've got like a, a more formal sort of dining area here. Uh, not dining. Oh my God. A more formal um, lounge area. But then we've also got another sort of formal lounge area here. And then I, I feel like this is more the family room. Like this is where you'd have the TV, that sort of stuff. But I want to definitely turn one of these into a dining room um, and have this like a nice, really big kitchen. And I also think this could be a nice study or something like that. So that's sort of the way that I've interpreted this. But then again, this is a very sizable kitchen. I like the idea of this being like an entry foyer, foyer, whatever we want to call it. Um, so yeah, I definitely think maybe a dining room could be nice, like a really nice formal one over here. Um, because this, I, I, I kind of view this almost as like a walkway. Cause like, obviously you have to walk through here to get up the stairs. So yeah, it is a little bit challenging. Um, in terms of trying to work out where we want to put everything, because this could also be a very nice dining area. So it's sort of up to up to us, I guess, um, what we want to do with it. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll think about it. I don't really know what I want to do right now. Um, and then up here, we've got a decent sized uh, main, I, I'll say this is the master bedroom and then a, a, a master ensuite. And then we've got three sizable bedrooms as well that are serviced by this bathroom. So it's definitely a nice, huge house. Um, also, we've got a gorgeous lake out here, which is stunning and a really nice sort of wrap around. Well, it's not wrap around, but like it's a very sizable balcony that sort of wraps around the whole back of the house, which is really cool. So I'm very excited to start furnishing this house. I've also got my cat in here with me um, because he just will not stop crying at my door. So I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't jump up on the desk. I've set up his little, I put it here. He likes my Skims robe. He loves to like cuddle up in that. So I'm hoping he'll just go and cuddle up in that eventually. Um, but you never know. So, oh, he's, he's so cute. He wants to play, but I am playing the Sims. <laughs> Sorry, I will play with you when I finish. From Artie! Oh my God, he jumped up on, see, look, here he is. He jumped up on, hello, he's so cute. All right, give me a sec. Let me just get him off. All right, I, I don't know if you can see, I put him in I put him in the robe. Hopefully he likes it in there. Okay, so let's start by putting some of the furniture back in the kitchen. Um, we've got a decent amount of space. Like it's actually sizable, very sizable kitchen, considering our old house was very tiny um, in terms of, you know, kitchen. So I do think we could potentially get like an, almost like an island sort of going here, like a really nice, nice big daddy island. Um, I will just recolor those. Cause I think, oh God, how am I going to get these to match? I can't even, is that the right? Bro, my eyes, like my eyes just aren't functioning. Is that, yeah, that's the same. Okay. So that's that one. And then that one. All right, easy. We'll just change those. Cool. I don't actually like these cabinets, not going to lie to anyone, but um, they are what we had in our old house. So we'll just go with it for now. Uh, we can't really afford to do much else. Um, we have some kitchen appliances. I saw, I saw a microwave. Yeah. Microwave, food processor, dishwasher. Um, I'm assuming we've got a sink somewhere. I can't find, oh, there's a sink. Um, let's actually move that to here and then let's put the sink there. I think that's a little bit of a better use of the space. Um, Nothing else kitcheny? No, nah, all good. Right, let's move on to the next room now. Definitely, as I said, well, this will be a nice um, main sort of area. So a main TV area. So we'll put our TV. Um, 
we've got a little desk here. So this can become our little study area. Very nice. Oh, we've got a burglar alarm. So cute. We're going to put that. Oh, we can sell that. Make some money. So exciting. All right. We've got our computer placed in there. We have a pinball machine. Since when do we have a pinball machine? That's kind of random. These lights are a bit fugly. I don't really like them. Oh, we have a cat too. So we can have a cat room. <laughs> Lol. Um, yeah, this could be like our cat room. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of things to use up in this space because it's a very sizable house. Oh, we have a car. Oh, we have so much stuff. We love that. Um, we'll go put our chess table maybe in this room too. Um, or I don't know. What about in the cat room? Because this is getting a bit crowded. This is giving like rumpus room kind of vibes, like rec room. So maybe, I don't know. Well, I guess that makes sense to have chairs. It's just kind of hard to, how about, okay, I got a layout. There we go. All right. And that way we can have the chess table in this corner. We're just, oh, sorry. My cats are fighting. Why are you fighting while I'm filming? Are you okay? Oh my God. Did you guys see that? Cause I didn't, but I certainly heard them fighting. I don't know why they can't fight. Where is the love? I don't understand. Um, all right. We've got these cool, let's just get like an office chair. I feel like an office chair always goes really well. So we'll buy that. Oh wow. We were looking at chairs for these. Okay. Mind blank. Let's go and get, um, yeah, there we go. All right, we'll just put them there for now. That's nice. Um, I don't really, I'm scared. I don't, I can't decide what room to make the dining room. I think this will be a, a good dining room. We'll just go with this. We're going to stick with it. Um, but then I don't really know. Potentially we could get rid of the granny furniture and then make this into... Yeah, I think we'll move some of the nicer furniture into here. This house is already quite nicely sort of furnished, which I, I do like. Um, it is a really nice look and a good vibe. Um, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. And then the bookcase can just maybe go in the dining area. We've also got this easel. So I don't know. Do we think that this is like a hobby room? So like maybe we'll move this desk out and like I don't like this desk so we'll get rid of that one um and I like this desk much better we'll get rid of that chair to oh sorry I don't know what that was I don't know why that was taking me so long to place a desk all right there we go so this is kind of like a study area slash a cat room and this is like a fun hobby room so that's kind of cool something a bit different um any other hobby items that we can place I don't really see not that I can see um we could get a little chair. I was gonna say this is be where this could be where we put our bookcase, but we've already got plenty of bookcases. Oh yeah, we could get. Hmm. Okay, this will just have to go up here. The little exercise. Wow. Well, okay. Apparently, this is such a huge room. Yet I can't fit anything in it. Um. I don't know. We'll do. Look at that. And then, yes, this is like a cat little nook, and then this can just go there. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, sweet. And then I also, obviously, we have a car, so let's get a driveway, and potentially we'll build a garage down the track. We've got a bit of money. Um, might have to move that tree back a little bit. Cute, stunning. All right, let's just place our car. Poor well, Ariana doesn't have a car. We need to get her a car, like, on the ASAP. <laughs> Um, smoke alarm's already in there, so we can delete that. And then, yeah, right, we'll place the dining furniture. We'll just got to get it over and done with. I want a big dining table. So I actually think we might see if we can get a bigger one because it's a very sizable space. So I think we can definitely fit some more. Sorry, I'm having my coconut water. We love that. I find coconut water is literally so hydrating and my sister recommended it to me. And it's awesome. Honestly, I'm trying to have a glass a day at this point. All right, set quarter tile place meant on all right sweet and then control f is what we use to activate our quarter tile placement um i don't like the flooring in this room we really need to change it up also that's not centered that's a bit more centered all right and then we'll get the chairs we'll see if the chairs that we've got match like they don't but like they will just have to do um, for now, yeah, I don't know. It's giving, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about carpeted dining area. I just, it just doesn't seem like it would be a good idea. I feel like people would just like spill food on it and like, I don't know. 
I'm not liking it. We'll definitely update the flooring once I can just friggin figure out how to place these. What's that on gold? Oh, okay. We obviously didn't place it correctly. Okay, we're just going to move them in one pace. Is that two that I just moved that in? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. All right, all good. Yeah, let's update the flooring. Let's get the timber, the timber in this area. Definitely much nicer. And I also think that I actually wouldn't mind removing this door and having an archway because we've, okay. Don't know how I feel about this. This just looks a bit funny to me, um, but I get it. Like you, it makes sense to be able to access from, from in there, from a routing perspective, I guess. I don't know. Also, why are there two different colored arch? Uh, why? Yeah. Why are there two different colored arches in the same vicinity of each other? Not good enough, if you ask me. That's fine. All right, there we go. We got that. That's cute. Let's keep placing a lot of our furniture now. Um, wow, we're 11 minutes into this part. Um, okay, no worries. Let's just delete. Can I? Oh, oh I was going to say, how do I delete? There we go. All right. I actually don't mind that counter, so we'll leave that. I do think we'll get the same sink there. And then a little mirror. So stunning. Can I? Is there a window there or a light or what's going on? Okay. Well, that's a bit dumb then. So let's change this arm. Let's put the mirror. Oh my God. Oh, this is real. Okay, there we go. I feel like all I've been doing lately in Newson is like building, which I'm kind of, it's, it's a bit of a nuisance. But it's really fun. I hope you guys don't mind it. I, I don't mind it, honestly. I'm actually, I'm, a, I'm kidding. It's not that bad, but I feel bad if it annoys you guys. Okay. Um... I don't know what else to place. We'll delete this dining table. We don't need that. We've got a really big bookcase here, which I think would actually go nicer here. Oh, I didn't mean to delete that. I think we'll delete that and put that there. Oh, actually, we don't have to delete that. We could move that up to another room potentially. Yeah, we could put that in like one of the kids' rooms or something if they want to have a bookcase. Really don't mind. Whatever tickles your fancy, I guess. Um, I'm turning off quarter tile placement because it's annoying me. Okay, let's place the kids' furniture first. So we've got, it's interesting, we've got like themed rooms in here. So I'm almost thinking potentially we could put this stuff in inventory and bring this out later when the kid ages up. Um, that'd be nice. Yeah, she can move over to that room. All right, let's just place her. So how, what angle would we play from? I feel like we'd play from this angle. Yeah, I feel like that makes sense. So we'd probably have... The cot there, and then maybe we'll have some of these items over here. Change table right next to there. Some toys up along this wall, and then a toy chest. And then they've also got that out. Cute. All right, let's go and oh, it's a separate toilet. That's kind of cool. We love that. Let's do that, and then potentially oh. I don't really know how to lay that out. What about that? And then like, no, actually the way we had that was fine. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Yeah. And then I think we'd do two there. Oh, we've got a dish thing in that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh, let's put that there. And then <laughs> let's go and put that. Um, We might have to do something with that on suite soon. Okay. Just go and put that. Can I buy another one of those? Because I want to have a double mirror in that bathroom. We've run out of sinks. So let's go and copy these sinks. Stunning. I actually feel like a darker. Like, I feel like that's, that's a bit nice. Huh? What do we think? And then don't these have a gold recolor or something too? Yeah, they do. I feel like, why do I feel like the gold looks a lot nicer? Let's go, let's go with that. Yeah. I don't know what we were thinking. Here. All right. And then let's do the master bedroom now. Slowly but surely unpacking. It's a bit of a process. So it is what it is. And then what is this? A book. Cool. Let's um, go and put that down here. Oh, we've got to spare one of these. Let's put that away. Um... I don't know where to put these thinking caps. <laughs> we 
just leave them in the inventory, to be honest. Um, this plant's kind of cool. I do think we want to have built in. Well, see, I don't like having the master bedroom open to the upstairs. Like, I really just don't like it. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, I get it. But I don't get it at the same time. Because, like, soundproofing, like, what if you're, like, you know, friggin' going to pound town and, like, people downstairs can hear you. Like, oh, sorry, that was really weird. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense. So, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. We'll replace that all so it still lets a lot of light in. And then now we've got a little bit more space. Um, as I said, I do want to do a built-in wardrobe and everything. So what if we did that instead? And what if we did built-in wardrobes? We'll save up for those, obviously, because we're a bit pop out at the moment. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Let's see what else we can get out slash maybe sell because it's getting to that point. Um, I like this chair. This is really cute. We'll get a little chair in the corner stunning a little actually let's do it the other way around look there we go stunning and then what's this a coffee table we well, see we have sofas as well what if we put that in the inventory and what if we got out the big sofa see now we've got like a really decent sized area and then what if we updated this to match and look, I really don't like these. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's just not my cup of tea. So let's just remove a lot of this and then repaint all of that. I feel like that's nicer. And then I do want to have tiles in there too. So what if we just had the matching tiles from up here? Stunning. And I don't mind the, the carpet there. I think that's fine. But then I think, do we want to have a more neutral sort of color? Like what if we maybe did like this type of color or like that color or there's a nice jute. It's like, hey, jute or something or hey, jute. Uh, what is it? Let me find it because it's a really nice carpet. Yeah, here it is. Hey, jute. Um, yeah, see, that's a nicer carpet, I think. But then I use that quite a lot. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how I feel about that. Bland beige. It's a bit bit too bland though. It's giving, yeah. That one could also be nice. What if we, yeah, we'll go back because I just wasted a bit of money. There we go. And then, actually, no. Sorry, I'm being so indecisive right now. Yeah, what about that? And then, oh my God, what is going on here? It's really weird. And then, I don't know. The kitchen, we'll come back to that. I'm not really happy with that. Um... Okay, let's just keep placing some of this furniture. So we've got our little smart meal. We'll have to get that. On. And then a coffee table. So we get the coffee table out. We'll put quarter tile on. And just chuck her in the middle there. Um, and swap that out. For, and delete that. Can I? There we go. All right, I actually, I actually kind of want to make this bathroom a bit bigger. It's not the end of the world, so I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Yeah, we've got some spare. Actually, I kind of want to keep it all consistent. Yeah, I think actually that's a better idea because, like, it's just it's a bit weird to just have a random different one. Delete. I've got a little bit of money back now. What is this? See, this has got like a random thing on it. Let's just delete. Can I click on that? Oh God, that's not what I meant to do. Delete that, delete that. Um, delete these weird lights. I don't think we need them. Oh, actually, no. No, I don't like these lights. These bedrooms don't have lights either for some reason. So we need to get lighting. Oh, actually that one does. Um, like why have they all got different lights? That's my question. Um, and then what is down here? Down lights. All right, fair enough. And is there any lighting in the kitchen? There's one little tiny pissy down light. Let's get a second one. Nice. And then maybe just some in the entry could be also quite handy. Let's see what it looks like at night. Oh, great. The lights aren't on. Why are sometimes the lights on and... Like in, I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe I have to go in and manually turn them on. I have no idea. 
Also, there's this cool little, like, love seat. I don't really know where to put it, though. I really don't. Maybe just here. And then I would, but I would recolor it, though, to match. It's just out here. And then, other than that, oh, a little teddy bear. What do you about the teddy bear? Beautiful. And then some roses. So stunning. We'll get them out. And then, do we need the thinking cap? Are we, like... Oh, yeah, well, we do, okay, because you're not top of your career. So let's go and put the thinking cap somewhere. Um, I guess our only bookcase is here, which is actually kind of interesting. Look, we'll just put that there for now. I'm, I'm fine with that. Anything else in anyone's inventory? Cats don't have in inventory spade. What are you doing? Um, obviously, we got all that stuff from before. That's fine. Coupon for a free meal. Don't really care. This cheap thing, let's delete that. All right, so we've got a thousand, one thousand seven hundred dollars. Happy with that. Oh, is she pregnant? Oh, I thought that, for some reason that was the maternity outfit. I got so confused. Anyway, we've moved in. So you start at two o'clock. Interesting. How's Dana doing? So it's actually, oh, it's her birthday, and she's oh she's learned all her skills. Actually, that's awesome. So we don't really need the um, good old little smart meal. We could throw a nice birthday party today. Actually, that could be really fun. Um, you could take a vacation day. That's fine, Gavin. Are we working towards him having a big bonus? I can't remember. Okay, no, he's already had one, but he could get another one potentially, but who cares? It's fine. All right. Ariana, I still want you to go to work, but I also want you to enjoy your daughter's birthday. That's interesting. How about we'll take the afternoon off. I'm happy with that. Why don't we go in and put, um, Dana up here and then you come use the toilet. Go kiss girl. Love that for you. We, we own that car and everything. Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh. All right. Our alarm is on. All right. Our beautiful home is got furnished now. I'm so happy. Let's go and put all of these books away. Tidy up. I think we have maids and everything coming over from the old house, potentially. I don't actually understand how that works. No. Can you take the day off? Just have the day off, okay? It's move-in day. I really don't need to, like, do anything crazy. All right. Perfect. Place in sports. Stunning. All right, do we have some relationship building we need to do? Because your social is a bit low. Um, how are we going with all of our friends and family? Got to get to know. Oh, it's my cat, B. Hello. She's so cute. Just the other cat. I have two. Um, give me a sec. All right, I convinced her to go sit in the skimp's robe. Anyway, all right. So we have a couple of teens, but they're obviously going to be at school. So that's not really going to be worth it. We could call up Cherry, but we're not quite going to become besties with her yet. So... No real need in that. What about Chloe? Hey, my, sorry, my cat's like pushing my computer. Can she just chill? Um, let's try and call up Chloe. Um, Chloe Nuisance if she wants to come over. Hello. Oh my god, I feel like she's gonna like knock something over. I'm very very anxious. How's Heidi settling into her new home? She's doing good. She's top of her career. All right, so Chloe's coming over. We'll try and have a bit of a chat with her and get to know her a little bit better. Um, how are you doing? You're not actually doing anything. Is free will... I had it off in my other video that I just filmed, so... That's a different save, though, so it should be fine. I don't know. You never know. You never know sometimes. These sims are just crafty little creatures. All right, are you coming over yet, Chloe? Whoa. Sorry, just, like, spun the camera around. Great, Chloe. <laughs> Why didn't you stop me? My cat was staring at me. Hello. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. She's my little princess. All right. Chloe, let's get to, oh, do you want to come inside, babes? Because, like, it's raining. All right, call Chloe over. And then let's go and have a bit of a chat with her. Where are we at? So we're at 10. Really could be doing better with her. Let's go just have a chit chat. And then maybe we'll hang out. Oh, okay, we're really just not getting up. B, what are you doing? Oh, my God. My cat, wait, wait, can you see? My cat is on the back of my chair. B. Why would you do... Oh, she's so cute. Bless her little heart. <laughs> that was really funny. B, no! She's on my desk now. Give me Alrighty, they're now in my... I don't know if you can see it. I put them in my Udi. <laughs> so, they really like the Udi and the Skims robe. So, they're both inside the Udi now. They should hopefully allow us to just film. Um, if I shut the door, especially the boy cat, Artie, he would just be, like, screaming at the door. So, I have to leave it open. Whoa, that's really bright. Why did I pause on that? All right, can we chat with this girl? Like, why... <laughs> What is so difficult about this? All right, how are you going with your skill building? So you're getting some mechanical art. Awesome, some visitors. Amazing, who's rocked up to see us? Random people that we don't care about. 
these are like random like blue water village townies like who wants them rocking up i want like freaking cassandra goth and like all these cool iconic sims characters rocking up not freaking lisa ramirez and gilbert jacquet and you're not even any you're not even i know all the sims he's not even a freaking sim in the it's like living anywhere so he's like a freaking police officer npc oh whatever we're ignoring you guys no one's home all right how are we going what's the hold up did she just stop talking to you because she had to have a coughing fear like what's the go go tickle her tickle time sorry <laughs> what? what is wrong with me let's go and put dana in the crib she's like going to like be exhausted let's cook some lunch and then throw this birthday party because we're running out of time serve lunch let's go hamburgers do we have a barbecue because oh we do let's grill some hamburgers actually I literally don't care about that. We're not, this is not a tinkering freaking free time. Let's play. Thank you very much. All right. Can you stop doing, oh, don't read today now. Who cares? Take that off. Uh, excuse me. Take that off. Throw party. Birthday party. Okay. Let's invite all the relevant Sims, all of the Newson clan and the extended family. We love that. Why are you not friends with Ginger? Sus. Um, is there anyone else? Oh, actually, that's all the things we can invite. Let's invite all them. Whoever didn't come, I hate. I literally hate them. They're literally getting cancelled from the Let's Play. All right, we've got a beautiful little cake. So excited. We need a bar in this house, actually, because it's a very sizable house. We could definitely get a bar going. All right, we've got a few friends and family. Very exciting. All right, everyone come have some hamburgers. Call to meal, everyone. All right, awesome. And then yeah, we've really got to age her up because it's about to be um, 6 p.m. And then that means that she won't age up properly and it'll be all glitchy. Yay. It'll be like, you, no one age up at your birthday party. What a friggin' lame party. Yay, so exciting. Yay, little Dana's a child now. How exciting. Oh, I did a bar. Love this for us. How cute. Dana has grown into a child. As a toddler, Dana achieved the aspiration level of little wonder. That's pretty good. With a little hard work, life could get even better. We love to see it. So exciting. Okay, so I want to keep chatting with Chloe. Let's keep chatting with her. All right, talk, chat. What about you? You need to make friends with some of these people, okay? Are we friends with like, oh. Uh, Cherry and Gavin, oh, sorry, Garrett, we need to become besties with. No one's friends with Chloe, apparently, which doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. And Ginger, is Ginger here? Where's our bestie Ginger? Did she not even come? Interesting tea. All right, what if we invite her over? Because, like, babes, unless she's at work or something, that's the only thing I could forgive. No, I'm not going to leave my child's birthday party to go hang out with a stranger. Thank you for the offer, though. Um, and Ginger invite her over see if she wants to come sure bring your friend babes exciting and then we also who was the other one yeah grant we need to get grant over here and try and get with him get with him sorry that's not what i meant get become friends with him i don't know i said the wrong thing sorry um all right grant's coming over now let's keep chatting to do you want to have a hug oh how nice all right she bought a random guy that's cute ginger family kiss so wholesome and then grant's here as well why is he looking seedy is he in like a work his work clothes oh i was like really confused i was like why does he look like that all right we've got to come friends with him play tickle hug friendly talk uh hang out all right everyone come grab some food if you haven't already all right, and then who are we talking to we were talking to ginger but she's just pissed off there she is um let's go friendly friendly hug Oh, that's really awkward. You just got freaking snubbed. Oh, Dana is enjoying her new little easel. Come grab some food, actually, sweetie. It's, you're a bit hungry. Grab some dinner. Daddy cooks some ham. Oh, you're stuck. <laughs> Lol. Sucks to be you. Um, anyway, how are we going? Hang out with Grant. We're doing all right. Just leave her stuck in there for a little while. Yeah, we're friends with Grant. That's all I wanted. All right, awesome. We need to become friends with Chloe. Go hang out with Chloe. It's a roof raiser. Love this for us. All right, they're hanging out now. Sorry, all heading out now. All our food's gone off, which is not what we want to see. Let's get you to go to sleep. You got your first day of school tomorrow. 
And then, yeah, you guys need to kind of look after your needs a bit. We've had a bit of a hectic day getting settled into our new home. Let's tidy up after our big, you know, birthday slash housewarming party, we'll call it. Tidy all that up. Go tidy all this up. Um, we actually need to cook more food because all of that just went off. Let's cook some pork chops. Stunning. Get some meal prepping going. Cute. Put that down. Okay, I don't like that they have to trek it from the kitchen to the dining area. That's going to become a little bit of a sore point with me, but it's fine. We'll, I'm sure we'll get over it. All right, let's go and grab some food. Grab a plate of pork chops. And then I need you to come use the toilet, have a shower, and go to sleep. All right, awesome. Everyone's winding down. I will rejoin in the morning. Oh, have we filled? I've got to make sure the pet's bed as well clean that fill that up all right i'll rejoin the morning guys i'll be right back all right it's the morning time now so we've used up our i don't know i thought we used our vacation day yesterday but maybe we had two i don't know i wasn't really paying attention all right so we need to oh someone left the tv on let's go turn that off we need to work on her sorry charisma not mechanical and then you are going to work today and then it's our first day of school for dana which is exciting so i think maybe we'll try for another baby when we have about maybe five or ten thousand dollars like maybe yeah, anything above five just in the bank would be nice because, yeah, our house is pretty much good to go, which is really great. So I actually don't really have any issues with trying to speed that along a little bit. But I right, need to go grab some food. Somebody's cooked some brekkie, I think, actually. Why don't you, why doesn't dad get up and serve some omelets for everyone? Do a bit of meal prepping. Oh, she's grabbing a juice. Cute. All right, make some omelets. What's this? Oh, the cat. Have fun at work, Sweeney. All right. Yeah, really not lacking having to trek it all the way over here. Um, I have to change that around. I don't know. I don't really like it. it. Like, it would be a little bit quicker to just go there. Like, but yeah, trekking it all the way here. Like, I don't know. Not sure how we feel about it. All right. First day of school. Let's go. We'll try and get her into a private school, too. That could be a bit of fun. All right, Gavin. Come put all this away. To make a million. Get your steps up, you know, and put all that away. And then now you're going. We only got one more skill point to get. Perfect. All right, awesome. Hopefully she should be on a track to get promoted. Let's go take that off. Um, you can just maybe put that away. I don't know if that's like a half-eaten bit of whatever, but let's go have some TV time. Can we serve some lunch, potentially, just purely to get some meal prepping going? Go pay those bills. Yeah, we'll, we'll meal prep a bit of food, just so we've got a bit of um, a bit of everything available in the fridge. All right, go make some lunch, and then you got to head off to work very soon. Don't have to get any servings out. Put that away, go piss girl. Looks like we don't actually have a maid or anything. So we might need to, we're gonna answer that first. Go away. All right, let's go call service. Might even need a gardener as well, depending on, yeah, there's some leaves that need raking and stuff. Um, fair enough, we'll get a gardener. And then we'll also get a maid because that'll definitely make things a lot easier for us. Let's go recycle that. And then you gotta go off to why? Oh, it's the cat's couple. I was like, why is she getting picked up in like a um an army truck for her art career? No. Oh, I guess she's an art forger. Fair enough. Maybe it's anyway a bit high stakes. All right, I'll skip until everyone gets home. Oh my god, I just realized that she's gonna. Oh my god, she's gonna be like home alone. Technically, can I skip ahead? I don't know. Oh, I don't want to risk anything. Oh, no. oh my god, she's gonna be home alone. That's really awkward. Does she have a cell phone? Why would she have a cell phone? Go call service. Go quickly call. Okay. Well, dad's going to be home pretty soon anyway, so there's no point. All right, hopefully. Yeah, I know Dana's home alone. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a bit of an oversight. Hopefully her hour is a bit different if she gets promoted. Anyway, we've had a friend over. We didn't do any, nothing bad happened. It's all good. All right, let's go and help Dana with her homework. That'll be a nice little fun father-daughter bonding thing for us to do. Can you stop playing with your dolls, please? Don't have a bath. Oh, I thought he was having a bath. I was like, no thanks. Oh, do you need to go piss girl? Mm, you can wait. Because you're playing with your dolls, it's your fault. You can hold it. All right, we've got to get this done. Oh, as if you friggin' pussy you couldn't hold it any longer. And I'm just being mean. All right, I thought you finished at six. Oh, nine. Oh, God. What is wrong with me? I can't read. What's that noise? Oh, it's a gardener's truck. It's getting a bit late. I feel like you should not be here. All right, let's go finish our homework. Ask for help with homework. Gavin, get out of the bath, please. Just go and help her. Thanks. Okay, good. That's done. That's all I wanted. 
All right, awesome. You're all done now. You need to go and have some dinner. We'll have some leftovers from yesterday, maybe. Our dad can grab some out as well. Yeah, we'll grab that. Grab a plate. Is this broken? Oh my God. Does anyone have mechanical? She does. All right, well, maybe when we get home, she can go and repair that. I don't know why the gardener's here so late. I feel like, no, I don't mind, but. All right, well, anyway, we're kind of just waiting around now to earn a bit of money. Ariana's been promoted to fashion photographer level seven. Rod Walloway, a world famous model for Sims style magazine, hears of your expertise and calls you one day when his favorite photographer is sick. You get a chance to build a career snapping shots of some of the most beautiful Sims in the city. But remember to keep in touch with your friends. Awesome. So we've earned about 10 grand, which is what we wanted to earn. Um, and then we are at level seven now. I do kind of want to get her to the top of her career, but I think that I'm happy for her to go back to work when the baby's born and Gavin can stay home because he has got top of his career. So hopefully that is going to be fine. We are going to need to call up. Yeah, we're going to need to hire a nanny because her t hours are still pretty similar. Let's do a track schedule. So it's, yeah, only three to four. It's literally just for an hour, so it's not a big deal. But, um... Yeah, well, these guys go have a little bit of a cheeky woohoo. Yeah, go have a shower, actually. A bit stinky after work. Oh, you go have one as well. Um, and then how are we doing? Let's go and maybe put that away. Go and watch a bit of TV. Watch Kids Chew. My mum and daddy um, go to... <laughs> no, I'm not saying it again. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Try for baby. So excited for these guys. <gasps> She's pregnant. So happy. All right. Kidlet is getting really tired. Why did I just call it a kidlet? That is so weird. My family used to call like kids kidlets. I don't know. That's a weird, maybe that's a weird Australian thing. I don't know. Anyway, everyone's off to bed now. I will rejoin in the morning guys. We'll be back soon. All right. I just did a couple of things with some money that we had. I just bought a little cute outdoor dining area here. Um, I don't think I did anything else downstairs. I just updated this bathroom. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I did. So we just had a little bit of extra money. So I thought I would do that. Um, we could also maybe get them some cute little, um, oh, we need those walk-in robes. I was going to say, I was like, there's something else that I've been meaning to do. Let's get them some nice built-in robes. I keep saying walk-in, but you know what I mean, guys. You, know, you, you get what I'm putting down. Um, let's just do that. And then I want to recolor them because I don't like those ones very much. Let's go dark. And then... I want to update any of the clothing in the back as well. Get some like f different clothes. I don't know. The clothes all like, it's either granny or like gross men clothes. I don't know. <laughs> all right, anyway, happy with that. I'll rejoin when they all wake up. All right. Oh yeah, might be pregnant, question mark. Exciting, all right, let's go make our bed. Don't relax, sorry, make bed. Cute, and Ariana's using the toilet and then you can use the toilet. And then we need to get you working on some of your skills again. So let's go and put your thinking cap on. We need to keep doing charisma and mechanical. Let's do charisma for now. Very exciting. And then she's doing awesome. We might even potentially invite the headmaster over tonight. That could be a little bit of fun just because we have a bit of free time. We might try and get her into a private school. Uh, call invite headmaster. We also need to get another car. Don't let me forget about that, guys. I keep forgetting. Oh, and you also, someone needs to repair this. Um, like We really don't have time. How about you call... A repairman. Can you not? Why can't you access that toilet? Oh, okay. I think it's just, I don't know what happened there. All right. Yeah. Someone will be over today and good. I'll be over for dinner at five. Amazing. All right. You want to earn a hundred grand, babes. How far are you off from doing that? Have you got any, what was the last like money one that you earned? 25, 50. I don't know how close you are. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Anyway, head off to work. Is this you also going to work? Okay. Let's take that off. What's wrong? Why is she like crying? I mean, ooh, just throw up lol. All right, let's go, let's go to work. All right, I'll rejoin when everyone gets home. All right, Dana's home from school. Her grades are going up, which is what we love to see. She's gonna put her homework away. Does she wanna put it on the desk or no? I guess maybe she can't reach it because of this dollhouse thing. Do you wanna just, maybe we'll move that. And then yeah, let's get the desk located thing because I have that, oh, is it, where is it? Yeah, here it is. Let's get this and then claim the desk. So hopefully she will put her homework there now. That's a mod that I downloaded. I honestly, I think I just, I think it was just desk locator mod and um, it's really handy. All right, does that mean she's going home now? Yay, bye, miss you. All right, so we need to, oh, but we had a maid here. Why don't you take out the trash? 
All right, she's just gonna have a little bit of fun. We've got the headmaster coming like right now. So let's get to it. BJ, the headmaster is here. All right, great, great BJ. And then are you nearly pregnant or no? Not yet, we gotta wait a little bit longer. All right, I want you to work on your, what were we doing, charisma? We're thinking about practice speech. Um, I need you to come serve dinner. We'll do turkey. And then let's get you to maybe give the entertain, uh, give to it. Let's give the headmaster a tour. Sorry, is what I meant. Trivia home would be lovely. Can I show him like the outdoors? Is that like a thing we can do? Is he like that? No, okay, he doesn't like nature. I hate that for him. Um, this is not a very nice room. So let's go in here. Beautiful show room. See, they swap the show room and end tour around sometimes. Actually a bit sneaky if you ask me. All right, show room. Do you just laugh at this room? It's really rude. Anyway, go in this room now. Uh, show room. You like? Let's go upstairs. Let's show him the main bedroom. I don't know. Show room. You like? Good. Thanks for the tour. It's great to see the house. Let's call him for dinner now. Uh, entertain call for dinner. You're not actually that hungry, so why don't we just get you to go and do your homework while we schmooze. Um, with the headmaster, you've gotten that charisma done, which is awesome. Let's get you to study some mechanical and come sit at the table if you want. Oh, cute. Yes, she's being social. We love it. <laughs> all right, um, let's just go put all this away before it goes off. Oh, yay. I think we got in 103 out of 90. I think he's gonna, I think he's trying to talk to her. Headmaster is impressed with your family. Diana just got into a private school. Amazing pat on the back. Snaps for snaps for us. We love it. All right, we've saved. And then let's just make sure that we keep slaying. So we need to try and get Dana to an A+. That'll be a lot of fun. We also need to try and get Ariana promoted. Hopefully, oh, she's got the day off tomorrow. That's right. Well, she's only just going to, I'm assuming she'll find out she's pregnant like really soon. Maybe in the middle of the night or something. All right, let's go and use the toilet. Uh, have a shower. How's our fitness going? I just need something for you to do. I feel like we're pretty bored. It's pretty boring at the moment. All right, get promoted. Easy. Yay, mechanical skill done. Take that thinking cap off. Let's go and use the toilet. Have a bubble bath. You earned it, babes. What's wrong? You have your own, like, you have a bubble bath as well. I love this cool little, like, orb thing. It's supposed to be like a, like a magic. I don't know. It's like cool from like the castle medieval how come they associate like i don't know why they always associate like witchcraft and everything with like living in a castle i don't know i just find that really interesting i don't know <laughs> food for thought it's really not but anyway um how are you doing you need to come grab some food you didn't really get a chance to eat before because you were studying away let's get you to grab some have some turkey you know have a, have a nice little roast dinner all right, how's Gavin doing with his little fitness? He's doing amazing. All right, is there anyone he can call up? Um, yeah, we can call up Cherry. Oh, I need to put the cheat on to get their social down. Give me a sec. Let me do this off camera. All right, I reloaded. Let's just, okay, answer that. And then hang on, we need to, who is this? Cassie Lynch. Wrong let's play. All right, call Sim. Um, who do we want to chat with? We'll chat with Chloe if she's not working or anything. I don't know. I don't think they have crazy work hours anymore. All right, perfect. And we'll just cheat her, his social down a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. All right, perfect. Oh, are you pregnant? <gasps> exciting. Baby number two on the way. So exciting. With little on the way, Ariana's been placed on maternity leave. Now it's time to kick back and relax and get a little rest and relaxation before the big day. Sounds good. All right, go to sleep. And then Gavin's just making friends with Chloe. We love that. All right, well, I'm gonna keep doing this off camera and I'll rejoin in the morning. All right, it's the morning time now. And then I'm just trying to see if there's anyone else that while wow, obviously she's got a bit of time on maternity leave. Yeah, we need to call up Garrett and become besties with him. Is there anyone else in the Newston family? Yeah, we need to get better acquainted with Cherry and Ginger. And then we obviously barely know Chloe as well. So we need to try and get that friendship blossoming. And then we know everyone else, I'm assuming. I'll figure it out off camera. Um, oh God, you don't even know Gallagher or Ellen. Oh, grand. Okay, we've got quite a lot for you to do. That's all right. It is what it is. You can relax a little bit while you're on maternity leave. Change into maternity clothes. Perfect. All right. Oh, God, we left all that food out. That's not what I want to see. All right, let's call up. Who do we want to do first? Let's just start with Gallagher because we're very low with Gallagher. And then how are you doing? Maybe we could call up someone before work or school or whatever, Gavin. Let's call Sim. 
Cherry. Yeah, let's chat with Cherry for a bit. Um, there she is. She's at work. Wow, she's out really early. Um, why don't we try and become besties with uh, I was gonna say Gavin. Your name's Gavin. Grant. All right, besties with Grant. That's what we love to see. And then, who else can we have conference with? I think we know everyone, which is great. Genevieve, we actually know. We don't know Genevieve. Gotta get to know her. And then other than that, I think we're all good. Um, obviously they're all going to school now, so that's really annoying. I think the only people left are, I'm gonna figure it out off camera. All right, sweet. No, I know what we're doing now. All right, let's get you off to school. All right, you've got to go to work pretty soon. So why don't we go and get you to have some breakfast actually. Grab something to eat or grab some omelets. Nice, have something to eat there. And then how are you going chatting with Gallagher? Get your social right back down again. Sweet. All right, well, I'll keep building this off camera. All right, Gallagher's done. We're at 100. So let's call Sim. Let's see if Cherry. We'll become best friends with Cherry. Yeah, we'll get that to 100 as well while we're here. Oh, we might get a big bonus. Sorry, I'm really excited. Hopefully we don't get demoted or anything. Oh, not manifesting it. We're getting a big bonus. It's all good. An opportunity arises for a joint venture with the Landgrab Enterprises to build a new privately owned but internationally accessible seaport. So it's privately owned. Like we've got to just highlight the key points, try and figure out where, what's what's not newsworthy. All right, a new seaport would allow many of Gavin's corporate access corporations access to trade routes in other regions much earlier in the corporation's developmental lifespan than trucking products via land routes. So much earlier in the corporation's developmental lifespan. So they mightn't be ready to, like they mightn't be ready to handle the volume of opening a seaport, like the orders and all that sort of stuff, whatever it is like, yeah. So a seaport would also allow well-established companies a much faster distribution rate. But on the other hand, it would be more immediately economical to simply acquire more trucks and ship higher volumes. Okay, I need to think about this. Give me a sec. I'm going to go buy trucks because I don't like the fact that it's privately owned. And then they mentioned it's much earlier in the, uh, their developmental lifespan. So they're negatives. It was the privately owned could just be like, you know what? No, you're not using it anymore or something like that. And we'll lose a bit of money. Um, and then we'll allow well-established companies a much faster distribution rate. So that means that like, basically we're going to fund other companies to like expand. So I'm going to go buy trucks. Oh no. All right, Gavin converts all expendable assets and triples the size of his trucking fleet. But within hours of signing the purchase order, the SimCity Truckers Union goes on strike. Gavin is left with an acre of new trucks and no one to drive them. So he makes the executive decision to cross the picket lines and hire a non-union workforce. All things seem to be going as planned until Gavin's foreman informs him that half of the trucks appear to have set out for their destinations without their payloads, and at least a third of their trucks have gone missing. Two were found mired in a nearby duck pond, and another seems to have been burned to the ground while still in the warehouse. The drivers apparently tried to install a new microwave in the dashboard. At the end of the day, Gavin is out $15,000. Okay, it's not what we wanted to see or hear at all, but at least we only lost four grand. That's so frustrating that he's out the money though. Like that's bullshit. Like why is the company, why can't the company, does the company not have insurance? Can't the company pay for all this? Like whatever. Anyway, let's get our social back down, please, and keep going. So we're basically at 100 with Cherry. I'm happy with that. Let's just become besties with Garrett. Um, yeah, let's call him up. Oh, he's at work. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, why don't we become besties with Ginger? She's not working. Why does everyone have a job? So annoying. Why don't we try Chloe? Chloe Newson. Oh, Chloe's at work too. <laughs> so annoying. Uh, what about Alvin? Or we could call up Grant. Let's just do Grant. Well, because like he's a teen, so we can't, can't really call him at many hours of the day. All right, perfect. We actually don't need to come today because mum's pregnant, Kendall. Honestly, you didn't need to be here, but it's fine. Yeah, you got an A plus. Go, girly. Love this for you. All right, go use the toilet. And, and then, oh yeah, you use your desk. Good on ya. All right, perfect. We earned a little bit of money. That's what I like to see. And then Gavin will also earn a bit of money. Easy. We made back five grand already. Amazing. We love to see it. Um, I want to buy them another car. I'm just kind of patiently waiting around for that. Um, let's also get you to do some relationship building while we're sort of waiting around for the baby to come. Let's go call up. Unless, are you on the phone with Cherry right now? I actually can't remember. Call Cherry. Someone's on the phone. Who are you on the phone with? Oh, Chloe. I get Chloe and Cherry muddled up. I don't know why. They really, they look really similar. Um, we need to become better friends with Elvin. Let's do that. Get to know him a little bit better. Oh, you're at work? Okay. 
Unlike somebody I know. Shut the F up, you little turd, Andrew. Um, all right. Who else are we up to? Yeah, you, Genevieve. Let's call Genevieve on. Sweet. Get to know our little... That's our niece. Love that. Right, getting to know our little niece there. You've been, like, talking to people on the phone all day. I feel like she's going to need to go look after herself. Actually, let's stop doing that. Let's go and... What are you doing? Get mail? No thanks. Oh, my God. You're going to, like, die in a sec. Can you go and grab something to eat? Thanks. All right. Please don't fall asleep in your food. That's all I'm going to say. She is going to fall asleep in her food. I'm just going to cheat her energy up a little bit purely because she needs to eat this food. Otherwise, she'll friggin' RIP. And then I'm happy to cheat it back down when she heads to bed. All right. You're having a little bit of a wind down after work as well, Gavin. Sleep. Let's cheat that back down just to make it fair. Sweet. All right. You're going to the toilet. How come no one's using this toilet? Have I placed it funny? I have no idea. Oh. What have you been doing all friggin' off? Oh, she's asleep on the lounge. Okay. Do you want to grab some food? And then I need you to go and do your homework. All right. Let's get you to also call up some more people. So, all right. I'll figure out who we need to call up. We need to call up um, Alvin for now. Where's Alvin? Here he is. Chat with Alvi. Cute. Beautiful. All right. I'm just going to do a bit of relationship building off camera. I'll read you in the morning. All right. He's just getting to know Gavin. I also think for some reason... Yeah, I don't know. Dana just got a bit big. It popped up um, as like a little thing. That's fine, you know. Nothing, we're not, nothing wrong with that. But um, maybe for her health, we could start doing some stuff. There's not really anything you can do fitness-wise um, other than the career rewards, I'm pretty sure. But um, anyway, that's not a big deal. All right, let's go and see if we can... Un we have to unlock some of these, actually. Let's do that. You've got a few as well. Oh, we've got a secondary aspiration. Let's do family. I feel like Gavin's a bit of a family guy. We love that. And then we'll get yours all started as well. Perfect. All right. Oh, just getting a bit more pregnant. Exciting. All right. You need to go go watch your TV, I guess. Oh, go put all this food away before it goes off. Put that away. Oh, that went off. Great. Good on you. Whoever left that out. All right. Go watch that. Turn this off. This stupid stereo is annoying me. Uh, Gavin's talking to BJ because he wasn't that, he literally did not know BJ at all. So I thought they better get to know each other. All right, let's head to bed. Perfect. You're in bed now. You're just having a little bit of doing absolutely nothing. Go and watch a bit of TV. Get your fun up, please. Perfect. Use the toilet and then head to sleep. All right, I'll rejoin in the morning. All right, it's so the morning time now. Gavin's away. He's going to grab some breakfast. Sweet. And then he has a little bit. He's got the day off, actually. So... We can get him to maybe call up some more of his family and get to know a few more people a bit better. I'll just cheat his social down a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean literally all the way. Um, let's call up. It's a Friday. So why don't we call up Genevieve before she goes to school and have a bit of a chat with her. Just get that going. Dana, you and her having a bit of a sleep in? That's fine by me. Go use the toilet and then go to school. And then how are you doing? You need to have some food. We'll grab some food. Um, we'll grab some omelets. Sweet. And then who are we chatting to? We needed to call up Garrett, but we keep missing him. He's always at work. Right, let's call up Garrett. Get that done. Sweet. Perfect. Best friends with Garrett is what we love to see. And then we don't care about any of her non-family friends. Let's call up Ginger next. Find Ginger. There we go. Call up and chat. I'm just going to cheat that down a little bit. All right, how are we going with Genevieve? We're doing good. We're at 100. Let's stop. All right, and then let's call up BJ if he's not at work. Or oh, he was right there. I just, like, skipped out of it. All right, he's at work. That's annoying. Who is next on our list? Um, you can become besties with Chloe pretty soon. And then I'm just going to go into the family tree and make sure that we know everyone. So... We know Ginger, we know Chloe, and then she doesn't have a kid that we can talk to. Is that correct? We know Chloe. Yep, amazing. And then who's next? We've got Georgia, BJ, and then Georgia doesn't have a kid that we can get to know. Gabriella, we both know Gabriella, Grant, and Travis. Awesome. We know Grant, and we also know Genevieve. And then you have a kid. We don't know Andrew Newson. 
Okay, and then we know Alvin. All right, let's see if we can get Angie Newson over. We'll have to wait till after three o'clock. And other than that, he knows everyone. So we love to see it. All right, we're just going to focus on you for a little bit now, getting your relationship up with Ginger. Love to see it. Hopefully the baby might come today. I'm just going to cheat that back because we obviously cheated that down and that was a bit of an accident. Um, Reese toilet, have a shower, make the bed. Perfect. All right, nearly at 100 with Ginger, which is what we love to see. 100, done. All right, sweet. Who do you need to get to know next? You need to get to know Grant a little bit more. He's nearly finished school, which is nice. Um, and I'm just going to figure out off camera who else you need to get to know. All right, next one is Chloe Newsons. Let's call up Chloe Newsons. Call Sim. Chloe. Oh, why is everyone at work when I need to talk to them? It's so irritating. All right, Georgia, do you know BJ? I don't think she knows Beach. I don't think she knows him. Right, we're going to call up Alvin too. God, Ariana doesn't know anyone. Like, what have you been doing with your life? Anyway, oh, I just remembered Alvin. Why is everyone at work? This is so annoying. All right, let's try and get BJ over. So BJ's married to Georgia. Let's call up Georgia. Let's see. Oh, oh my God. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to skip because literally nothing's happening. I'll be back soon. All right, it's after three o'clock, so I'm hoping some people are home now. So... Let's get to it. No, stop. Why does this girl keep calling us? We're literally married and like have a kid. Like, go away. All right. Call up. Who are we, who are we even trying to call? I cannot remember. Oh, yeah. We needed to get um their kid over. You should try calling back on Galaxy Isn't it work? Okay, no worries. Um, all right. Call up. Oh, Alvin is at work. Working. Okay, whatever. We need to call up BJ. Um, we actually might invite him over... Never mind, never mind. All right, I used our money to buy Ariana a car, which is exciting. See, I wanted to get Andrew over, but now if we invite him over, it's going to be too late. And they'll be like, oh, we better take Andrew home. It's really late. So annoying. Oh, we'll see if they come over. We also need to invite BJ over because she doesn't know BJ. So we need to invite him over. All right. Yes, bring your friend. That's fine. All right, can you just greet Andrew? That's all I want, just to make sure... You see what I mean? See you later. All right, well, anyway, at least we've met him. Um, well, you need to come and meet BJ. I think I told her to go to sleep, actually. You can get up. Cassandra, let's go talk to BJ. Talk chat, because you don't know him yet. Come chat with him. Get to know your, you know, brother-in-law. Once removed. I don't even know how to describe that. All right, so anyway, they're getting to know each other, which is great. We actually might even get them all to go home, because... We can just, it's easier. It, honestly, we build relationship better if we do it over the phone. So let's try and do that. This part's also going really long, but I'm really having fun. So I don't know what to do. All right, they're heading off home now. Um, yeah, you need to call up Alvin, I think. Let's call up Alvin. Have a bit of a chat with him. Get to know him a bit better. Signing. And then you, who, who do we, yeah, we need to call up Andrew. You Actually, yeah, you can talk to Andrew on the phone. Let's call up Andrew because it's... For some reason that his dad will rock up though. I do know that that I do know that for a fact. It's like a weird little glitch if you talk to a kid, their parents rock up if it's past a certain time. Watch me watch it not happen now that I've said it. But I don't know, I've noticed it heaps in a lot of my other let's plays. Alright, well anyway, that's really awkward. It didn't happen. Alright. How did we go with Andrew just then? Where is his little icon? I can't even see it. How did we even go? 46. Oh, come on. Can we just make a friend? Make a friend, please. Call him up. Chat. Just talk. She's just about to have a baby as well, so that's kind of scary. All right, how are we going with Alvin? We're getting there. Keep going. All right, good. We're friends with him. That's all I wanted. Nearly there. How are you going with Andrew? Getting there. Exciting. Oh, you just paid yourself. Okay, awkward. All right, well, they're both on the phone now. I think I'm going to wrap this part up here. I'm pretty sure she's, like, literally just about to have a baby, but we'll wrap it up anyway. Um, I think that, yeah, in the next time we play in this family, these guys are definitely going to have their baby, which will be really exciting. We'll keep doing a little bit more relationship building. I'll try and do that off camera because I know it can get a bit annoying, or at least I – I know one's told me that it's annoying, but I personally feel like you guys don't want to see me building relationships just over the phone. It's kind of monotonous, but we'll keep doing with that – going with that off camera, and I'll also try and figure out off camera who she doesn't – excuse me, sorry, um, who she doesn't know because, like, it's a bit confusing. But And then also Dana's getting along pretty well. She's aged up to a child this part, and she's now um, three days away from becoming a teen, which is awesome. And Heidi's doing pretty well too. We can maybe adopt another cat for her. That could be a bit of fun. Maybe we can get her 
to start having kittens. I don't know if she wants, but yeah. And we also furnished the house, which I'm really happy with. So yeah, in the next part, we'll keep saving up some money and building, expanding their family. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you are enjoying. Remember to leave any comments, suggestions, or feedback down below for me as well. In the next part, I think we'll jump over and play in Ginger's household for a little bit and see how they're going. All right. See you in the next video, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye everyone.